Hello, welcome to Chargebee. In this video, we are going to learn about the various invoice operations in Chargebee. Let us look at where you can access your invoices in Chargebee. After successfully logging into your Chargebee site, click Invoices and Credit Notes, Invoices. Here, all the invoices that are generated in your Chargebee site can be viewed with important details at a glance. Click an invoice record to view the invoice details. The invoice details page displays the invoice with all the information pertaining to the transaction. You can view the invoice date, the billing period, due date, and so on. You can also see the items purchased with their unit and the amount payable along with taxes and discounts that are applied. As you scroll down, the invoice displays the invoice notes, billing and shipping addresses, the payment and credit transactions made for the invoice, and the activity log. You can optionally add comments and add attachments for your internal reference. You can send an email to the customer attaching this invoice, with this send email button. Click PDF to generate a PDF view of the invoice. You can perform various actions for an invoice by clicking this ellipsis icon. You can update the purchase order number for the invoice. With the update invoice address option, you can edit the billing and shipping address information listed in an invoice. You can also update any non-address fields such as first name, last name, email, company, and phone number. This only updates the address details of the invoice, and does not update the billing or shipping details of the associated customer or subscription. Navigating back to the invoice details page, the other actions that can be done for an invoice differ based on the invoice statuses. For a paid invoice, you can record an offline refund, or create a credit note to provide refundable credits. Using the advanced option here, you can even modify the credit amount to refund part amounts. For an invoice that is in payment due status, you can pause or stop dunning for the invoice when you know the customer will pay on a particular date. You can record offline payment, create a credit note, write off the invoice, void the invoice or delete the invoice if required. For an invoice that's not paid, you can set expected payment date, you can do everything we just saw for payment due invoice, except for the dunning actions. If you have enabled metered billing for usage-based billing, some actions are exclusive for pending invoices. You can add one-time charges or add-ons to the invoice. You can close the pending invoice. When you close the invoice, all usage-based charges are added and the invoice gets posted. The close invoice pop-up displays all the invoice notes present for the invoice. You can review the notes, remove some of these notes, or even add a new note as required. Once you close the invoice, the invoice status changes from pending to payment due or paid. There you go. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can write to support at chargebee.com or check out the need help section in your Chargebee site.